How exactly are Sabine and Ahsoka going to find Ezra in the Star Wars Rebels sequel series? Well, Cyber Saber 001 messaged me with an interesting theory, and after taking some time to reflect on the theory, I believe it just may hint at how Sabine and Ahsoka will find Ezra. The theory starts with Sabine's Mandalorian armor. The artwork on her armor has changed over several seasons of Star Wars Rebels, but it has also given us hints as to what's coming up in the series. For example, in Season 1, Sabine's armor included a wolf, and in Season 4 of the series, the mystical Loth wolves played a major role in helping our rebel heroes. In Season 2, the shoulder pad of Sabine's armor again includes a depiction of the wolf, but things start to get really interesting in Season 3. After the loss of Ahsoka in Season 2 of Star Wars Rebels, Sabine included an owl or convery on the shoulder of her armor. At the time, I think we all thought that this was in memory of Ahsoka and her convery friend Morai. However, looking back at it now, the image again seems to hint at the return of Ahsoka Tano in Season 4 of Star Wars Rebels. Again, in Season 4, Sabine's armor has a convery on the shoulder pad, but at the end of Season 4, during the epilogue, Sabine's armor changes again. At this point, it has a purgle on the shoulder pad. Now, on the surface, you could think again that this purgle is in memory of Ezra's sacrifice to liberate Lothal from the Empire, but it could also be a hint of the future. Just like the wolf on Sabine's armor hinted at the Loth wolves, and the convery hinted at the return of Ahsoka. But what is this purgle exactly hinting at? Could it simply be hinting at the return of Ezra Bridger? I think it's much more than that. I believe the purgle will be instrumental in tracking down and finding Ezra Bridger. At the end of Star Wars Rebels Season 4, we see an Ahsoka Tano that looks like a very powerful Force user. I believe in the Star Wars sequel we will see her communicate with the Purgle similar to the young Padawan Ezra, and that the Purgle will help Ahsoka and Sabine find the hyperspace route that leads to where Ezra and Thrawn ended up after their jump. The more I think about this theory, the more it just makes sense. Ahsoka and Sabine are years behind Ezra and Thrawn, and if they're going to stand any chance of tracking them down, then they're going to need to track them down exactly where they jump to in hyperspace. That said, I've added two other Search for Ezra theories onto this video. They're theories that I did previously, so let's move on to the next one. How exactly could Ahsoka and Sabine find Ezra? After Star Wars Rebels Season 4, we know that Ezra has most likely left the known galaxy. He and Thrawn have been transported to the unknown regions thanks to the Purgle. And thanks to Dave Filoni, we know that both of them have survived. But again, how do Ahsoka and Sabine ever find Ezra? He's most likely in uncharted space and he's been there for a long time. Does Ahsoka even stand a chance of finding Ezra? Ahsoka does seem to be this enlightened force user, and Sabine is a kick-ass Mandalorian, but even this duo do have their limits. While it's probably not a surprise that I believe the answer lies within the Force. Luke tells Rey in The Last Jedi, the Force is not a power you have, it's not about lifting rocks, it's the energy between all things a tension, a balance that binds the universe together. And we can see examples of this in some of the imagery that Dave Filoni has created in Star Wars Rebels and For the Last Jedi. The aerial images of the Lothal Temple, for example, as well as the Mortis God's image, very specifically looking at what looks like arms coming out from the Mortis Gods to different planets or those circular objects, and Luke's compass from The Last Jedi also reflects this. These images connect really well with what Luke is saying. If the circles in all these images are planets, then the Force is bringing all those planets together. The Force binds the universe together. So I believe Ahsoka and Sabine, when they set out to find Ezra, would be looking for a Jedi Temple. She would find the temple in a similar method to Ezra and Kanan in Season 2 of Star Wars Rebels, or Qui-Gon just recently did this in a comic where he lets the Force guide him. So I believe this is how Ahsoka would set out trying to find Ezra. She would let the Force guide her. 
And upon finding this temple, she would then sit and meditate, using, of course, Ezra's lightsaber as a guide. It would be really interesting to find out if the Mandalorians do some sort of battle meditation, or if Sabine would just try and go with it and help out in any way she could. Either way, we know the Force is strong with Ahsoka, and I believe she would start seeing visions of Ezra, but they really wouldn't be enough to go on. So despite the fact that Sabine would be getting restless, I don't believe Ahsoka would leave yet. She'd want to meditate even more. And during this time she would see a vision which would uncover the ability to transport from one temple to another. I think it's plausible that Sabine and Ahsoka could look at the art within the temple and discover a gateway to another temple. Very similar to how Sabine and Ezra find the gateway to the world between worlds in season 4 of Star Wars Rebels. Ahsoka and Sabine would then literally become Skywalkers, transporting themselves to another Jedi temple. Similar to what we saw the wolves do within Star Wars Wars Rebels, taking our band of Rebels and transporting them to another location on Lothal. They would no doubt have to travel to several different temples, continuing to meditate, and as they find themselves getting closer and closer, the visions would become clearer and clearer, and at some point they'd have to find a ship and finish tracking down Ezra using old-fashioned detective work. Of course, I could be completely wrong on this speculation, but when it comes to the Force being an integral part to finding Ezra, I think there's little denying that. It's just up to Dave Filoni or maybe Timothy Zahn on how this is all going to unfold. How will Ahsoka and Sabine find Ezra Bridger? We know after the Galactic Civil War they head out together searching for Ezra. But the galaxy is a big place. So how do they plan on tracking down Ezra exactly? So as Ahsoka and Sabine set out to find Ezra in their T6 shuttle, we must ask ourselves, what is their plan? How will they even begin to search for Ezra? He jumped into space with the Purgle, and the Purgle most likely know hyperspace routes unknown to the greater galaxy, especially hyperspace routes that may lead into wild space. And I think the answer to that question could come from another question. Who else could be on Ahsoka's T6 shuttle? Well, what about Luke Skywalker? After all, we know Luke is off looking for artifacts during this time thanks to Battlefront 2 and Shattered Empire, the comic series, and it's reasonable to think that Ahsoka has been doing the same. The staff she carries certainly looks like a Jedi relic. So I could be totally wrong, but wouldn't it be amazing if the two have met, Ahsoka explains her mission, and Luke decides to tag along to help. But how exactly would Luke Skywalker be able to help out? Remember, Luke has a special compass that helped him find Doc 2. The Last Jedi Visual Dictionary tells us that it helps navigate hyperspace lanes, even those unknown to navigation computers. Now, commenter Drake mentioned that Luke's compass might actually fit into Ahsoka's staff. A very interesting idea. So the power of the staff and the compass combined may help them not only navigate the unknown space lanes, but even track down Ezra. Does this sound weird? Well, it should actually sound familiar. Remember, Zeb used his bowcaster to help navigate to his homeworld in Star Wars Rebels Season 2. It helped him guide the ghost through uncharted space. So could Dave Filoni have Luke and Ahsoka teaming up to find Ezra? Well, there's really only one problem with this. What exactly would be Sabine's role in this search? Sure, she's a kick-ass Mandalorian, and she has maybe even fallen in love with Ezra at this point, but wouldn't she be overshadowed by Ahsoka and Luke? What if Sabine is the one that actually needs to use the staff? But why would that be? Well, because as I've already mentioned, she is the one that's had the closest relationship to Ezra. Her connection to him might just allow the staff and compass to guide them to Ezra. Similar again to how Zeb and his bowcaster were able to guide the ghost and its crew to the Lasat homeworld. But Sabine can't use the force. How could she use the staff and the compass? I'm sure that Ahsoka and Luke could help her out with this. Think about Kanan and Ezra supporting Zeb when they were navigating into wild space. But would the staff and compass guide them directly to Ezra? It's hard to say, but I believe they would be tracking Ezra through hyperspace from Lothal, meaning that they would be a long way behind him, and therefore it would take a great deal of time before they actually found Ezra. But hey, I'm Mike, and I'd love to have you subscribe and join our Star Wars theory crafting community here, where we share our thoughts and encourage those who do the same. So my theory crafting friends, let's finish with today's question of the day. How do you think that Ahsoka and Sabine will find Ezra? Let me know in the comments below, and may the Force be with you.